We also have Michael Jackson and Bubbles, and this makes a lot more sense if you were alive in the 80s and 90s in the point in history where Michael Jackson was particularly famous. To many people today who would be looking at this, especially those uh, people who are in college today, this may have less relevance, but we still deal with the piece either way. So, Coons transformed a famous photograph of the late pop star, this photograph, and his pet chimpanzee bubbles into a sculpture. And it's not just a sculpture. He's really mimicking these figurines that you might see in your grandmother or great-grandmother's house. These figurines that used to be everywhere. It's only recently that the market has turned against these ideas. But they used to be very kitsch, very, uh, very, very common. And they have almost no inherent value. Now, this work is part of a series of sculptures that he titled Banality. B-A-N-A-L-I-T-Y. And these were intended to speak to a broad audience by using familiar figures like Michael Jackson, Buster Keaton, and the Pink Panther. Again, they apply to the period in which they were created. They are not meant to speak sort of universally to everyone. But then again, when you're dealing with kitsch, when you're dealing with consumer goods, that doesn't apply to everyone. After all, Campbell's Soup is far less ubiquitous today than it was when Andy Warhol created his famous silk screens. So he's using the same triangular configuration in his composition as Michelangelo does in the Pieta, suggesting an almost religious fervor the contemporary pop stars inspire, but also the sacrifices that they make to be idolized by their fans. So he's mimicking the compositional form, that pyramidal composition. And just as a reminder, uh, when I talk about pyramidal composition, I'm looking at more or less a triangular composition, one that gives a sense of solidity, a sense of foundation, which of course a religious icon such as the Virgin Mary and Jesus would bring across. Well, we're seeing the same thing with Michael Jackson and Bubbles. He's obviously adjusted it. We don't want to mimic, to perfectly copy the Pieta, but he is picking up that pyramidal composition so common in Renaissance religious compositions. And it's meant to look low art just like those figurines that everyone's grandmother or great-grandmother has. And yet, it pulls out these great compositional ideas of high art. So he's trying to call our attention to a low art form. He's trying to mix us up and make us see low art as high art, just like the pop art is. And, of course, you can always make the argument that it's good art because it includes a monkey. And monkeys are fun. 